Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker. Students in Brazil just took the NA2025, this year's version of a college entrance exam. Many are taking to social media to complain about one particular problem they found extremely difficult. The question has gone viral and even has coverage on CNN Brazil. I thank Alexander for the suggestion. So here is the question in its original language. And now let's just translate it into English. A container has a shape such that when it is filled with water at a constant flow rate, the distance D from the water surface to the tabletop in centimeters increases with respect to the time T in minutes according to a function of the form D is equal to K plus tangent of the quantity P times the quantity T plus M, where the parameters K, P, and M are real numbers for T ranging between 0 and 4 minutes as shown in the figure. The figure shows the vertical asymptotes of the tangent function used in the definition of D. The algebraic expression that represents the relationship between D and T is then there are five answer choices and you have to select the correct option. Whoa, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted just reading the question and trying to understand what is being tested. I sympathize with any student who found this question to be frustrating. In fact, this question reminds me of a classic math joke about how teaching math has changed since the 1960s. In the good old days, we would have a simply stated word problem where you would be given information and a student would be expected to solve for the answer. But students weren't solving the problems at a high enough rate, so they had to lower the expectations. In the decades following, they would include calculations into the question so that it was easier for students to find the answer. But this still wasn't good enough. By the 1990s, the problems would change to a very low expectation and in the 2000s, we started talking about our feelings. Get to the 2010s, and we have to incorporate social media into math class. The problems were getting longer, but it wasn't about actually calculating the questions and finding the answer. In our current incarnation of math, you could say it's a complete disaster because we have separated ourselves from the original goal, which was to ask a problem and to have students solve a numerical answer. So, what is this question actually about? I feel like the entire setup is just long and drawn out and it's completely unnecessary to the mathematical heart of this question. We don't need all this. This entire problem could be stated without this picture and it could just be written as the following. Which of the following five expressions could represent the graph on the right? So let's just focus on these options and this graph. So which of these five options could represent this graph? It is my opinion, if we were to simply state math problems, then perhaps more students would find math to be interesting and they would actually engage with the content. In any case, let's try to solve this problem. Let's analyze the graph. We have an inflection point right in the middle. We are given its coordinates. We know that one dimension t has a value of 2.5 and the output dimension d is a value of 30. So we have the point 2.5 comma 30. That is t is equal to 2.5 and d is equal to 30. We also have one more feature of this graph. We have asymptotes and the distance between the asymptotes is 2 pi. Let's compare that to the graph of a standard tangent function tangent of x. In this graph, the inflection point happens right at the origin 0 comma 0. The distance between the asymptotes will be a distance of pi. So compared to tangent of x, this graph is shifted vertically by 30 units and it is shifted to the right by 2.5 units. So let's see which of the answer choices reflects these translations. Well, let's start out with a vertical shift of 30 units. This is only there in answer choices D and E. In answer choice A, it's 2.5.
and in B and C, it's vertically shifted by four units. So A, B, and C can immediately be eliminated. Now, what about D and E? We have another feature where the graph is shifted 2.5 units to the right, and that is only a feature in option E. 5 over 2 is the same as 2.5. In option D, the graph is shifted 5 units, so option D can be eliminated. So right away we can see that the correct answer has to be E. E is the only equation that could represent this graph. So the answer is E. So realizing the vertical and horizontal shifts would be the fastest way to solve the problem. But as a student, you may not always get the fastest way to solve the problem. That doesn't mean you have to give up on the question. There may still be other ways to approach the problem. So in this question, I want to illustrate another way you could have solved the problem if you didn't realize this vertical and horizontal shift. Looking at the graph, if you saw that t is equal to 2.5 and d is equal to 30 is a point on the graph, all you would need to do is check each of the options if t is equal to 2.5 gives a result d is equal to 30. So let me illustrate this method and how you could have found the correct answer just by looking at this one point. So let's start with option A. Let's substitute t is equal to 2.5 in this equation. Now let's simplify this. We have 2.5 minus this fraction. So if we divide through by 2, this fraction becomes 2.5 minus pi. So we have 2.5 minus the quantity 2.5 minus pi. This will simplify to be pi. We now have the tangent of 30 pi. Tangent of multiples of pi will be equal to 0. So this entire expression will simplify to be d is equal to 2.5 and that is not equal to 30. So t is equal to 2.5 does not give d is equal to 30, so you know that option A cannot represent this graph. So let's proceed to option B. We will substitute t is equal to 2.5. 2.5 plus 5 over 2 will be equal to 5. 5 times 30 will give us 150. Tangent of 150 is going to be some irrational number, and so when we add it to 2.5, we're not going to get an integer result, so this is definitely not equal to 30. I'm explaining how you can solve this without a calculator, because as I understand it, students are not allowed to use calculator on this test. So option B cannot be the correct answer. So we now go to option C. We substitute t is equal to 2.5. We will then simplify. Now we have tangent of 2.5 times 5 plus pi, so this entire thing is not going to be a multiple of pi, it's going to be some irrational value, so this is not going to simplify to be equal to 30. So option C also is not going to work. When we go to option D, we substitute in, and we end up with tangent of negative 1.25. This is going to be some irrational number, so this is not going to simplify to be 30. So D is not the correct answer. All we are left with is E, and unless there's an error in the question, that would be the correct answer. But we substitute in 2.5 minus 5 over 2 is going to be 0. Tangent of 0 is 0, so D is equal to 30, and 2.5 and 30 are on this graph, so E is the correct answer. So even if you didn't know anything about the horizontal and vertical translation, you didn't need to know the distance between the asymptotes, you could still solve this problem just by knowing that t is equal to 2.5 and d is equal to 30 is a point on the graph. So E is the correct answer to this very exhaustingly and viral question that was posed in Brazil. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.